What's going on guys, we're back with some more Dragon Ball Vidokin Battle videos on the Japanese version. Literally, I just got out of my bed and I got on fucking Dokkan, the Japanese version, and I was hit with a bunch of freaking news that I was not aware of. I knew the World Tournament was coming up, I knew that, I knew about LR Piccolo, but we got a lot of Trunks stuff, a lot of Vegeta and Goku stuff. And um, as you can see here, going through the event, so we have the World Tournament coming up. This should be dropping on the 22nd, which is actually tomorrow. So World Tournament will be dropping tomorrow, guys. Grind, 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 grind. Uh, I don't know why it happened on Tuesday 4. Um, actually, no, that's going to be Wednesday. I'm fucking working. So I don't know how the fuck I'm going to be grinding. Like, I wish it would have been like a weekend thing, but we will figure that out. Um, or wait, is it Thursday? Either Wednesday or Thursday. Don't quote me on one of those, but we have... A new Trunks banner, and we have a new Trunks story event, and you should be doing these events and banners, and I'll tell you why. Let's look at the detail. Now, first of all, I'm not that literate in uh, Japanese, so I'm just going to speculate what I'm seeing here. But um, so we have these uh, three new cards that are now available in the banners right now that are on the Japanese version. We have the physical S SSR Trunks, uh, future Trunks at that. Um, we have the Tech SSR Vegeta. Um, and then we have the strength SSR Goku from the um, it's a black Zamasu or Goku black or uh, merge Zamasu or future Trunks arc whichever arc you want to call it these are the new cards that just dropped on the Japanese version and we can actually Dokkan awaken them and I'm going to show you guys that in a minute uh, we also have the new story event so you can actually do the story you can get the medals to then awaken those cards um, it looks like only Vegeta and Trunks uh, can be awakened. Now this is not a TUR awakening, it's not a Dokkan awakening, it's just a rebirth. So they are rebirth cards. And there's actually a farmable Trunks that you can um, get from the event here. And I believe you can awaken him as well. So he's actually going to be pretty good for when the, uh, when, when the Intelligence Trunks drops. I think on the 28th or the 29th. So that's freaking cool guys. And um, you can also use him to form the super attack of the trunks that dropped in the Super Saiyan Blue uh, Vegito banner as well. So that's freaking cool if you have him. And he is also available in his banner, guys. Uh, and just some, just some additional stuff. We have the Bulma vent. Guys, I do not have any friggin' support items. Literally, like, my Icarus... Uh, my Ghost Ushers, my King Yama, they're all done. They're fucking done, man. Like, the events that, um, that came, that had, like, the, the, the 20, the 25 act. I grind, 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 grind. And I use all my freaking items. So, I'm glad this event is here because I'm going to be grinding for some damn items because I need it. And pretty much, you know, we have this Roshi event as well. I don't know what the Roshi event is. I'm, I'm assuming that's some kind of, some kind of Christmas event. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but yeah guys, so we have some new stuff going on. And additionally, we do have a stone sale. Now that's that's very appreciated, Bandai. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we definitely will be taking advantage of this stone sale, believe it or not. Now let me show you the new banners, guys. And there's something special about this, okay? Now we have this uh, 150. Um, so we can do one multi-summons once. And I don't know if this is a guaranteed SSR. Uh... I mean, I'm kind of assuming it is because it's, it's not a discount multi summons. Uh, so I'm thinking it's a guaranteed SSR. I'm thinking, and I, I mean, I can't believe Bandai would do that to us. I mean, we're freaking guaranteed one of the new uh, banner cards. Now, there are some pretty good cards in this banner. They're not some, you know, some cards are good, some cards are bad. Like, we have the new Trunks here. I love the fucking art. The fucking art looks amazing. His super attack is probably amazing as well. Uh, probably a slash, you know, most likely it's going to be a slash or the galley gun. That's cool. I'll take a galley gun. Now, you know, we have Future Trunks that actually has capability of doing a galley gun, so that's freaking cool. And uh, this here is a new Vegeta. Now, going over his stats, I don't know exactly what the stats are. It looks like his attack and defense goes up 20%. I don't know if that's unconditional 20% or if there's some kind of like gimmick behind it. Uh, leadership ability looks like HP, attack defense goes up 2,000 uh, like I said I don't know if that's just for his specific type or if that's for all and his super attack doesn't look like it gives any health uh, any you know attack boost or anything but a uh, pretty good card I definitely would run him on my hero's team or a physical team if I had Broly but I don't have Broly so whatever uh, this is the new Vegeta if you guys remember these cards were actually available the um the uh well not the trunks but it was a Vegeta and the Goku they were available 
in the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito uh, Doken event where you can get the medals. You have to fight them first before you move on to Super Saiyan Blue uh, Vegito. Now this is the new Vegeta and it's pretty cool that we have a new Vegeta but I mean I would prefer if all the other Vegetas that we currently have got a rebirth or a true TUR Doken event because they really fucking need one like Goku has one but Vegeta just continues to get Shaft in the Japanese version as well as Global. And now uh, this is the new Goku here. I'm assuming he's just going to do Kamehameha. Um, let's see what he does. And uh, yeah, typical Kamehameha. It looks pretty cool. I like the gi. I like the colors. You know, very nice. Um, massive explosion. I like that. I'll take that. So you can pull those cards in the banner, guys. And uh, we also have the Trunks I was talking about. He's a freaking beast of a beast of a motherfucking beast. And he can actually do kind of weekend. So that's pretty, that's freaking awesome, guys. So if you pull him... You can actually um, farm the one that's now available in the event to raise his super attack. So that is sweet like candy, guys. That's freaking awesome. So he's pretty much, uh, you know, free super attack card you can max out. So take it, guys. Please summon on him and try to pull him. Um, we do have this card here. Uh, you know, she's, uh, she's a stunner. So, you know, we have that going on for us. You know, she's pretty good. Put her on a mono intelligence team. Or, I mean, you know, if you really want her on the heroes team, sure. But there's other stunners that are better, like, you know, you have the, um, you have the Super Saiyan Gotenks, Strength. He's a better stunner that can actually deal additional damage. Not saying that she can't deal damage, but she's not. I wouldn't put her on the Heroes team, but I would put her on the Mono Intelligence team. So, we have that. Uh, we do have Zamasu, pretty good card as well. Um, I'm not a fan, though. I know he can do damage, and I know he has, you know, good attributes, but I'm just not a big fan of him. But, you know, if I take him, I'll get him. He does have a type of Rainbow God lead Leadership um, ability. So, you know, that's cool. Uh, we do have Hit. I have Hit. I don't want to put hit, pull Hit again. I'm sure there's going to be like a Dokkan event in the future where this Hit is going to get um, a Dokkan Awakening. But, uh, you know, I'm not interested in pulling anymore. And I have Future Gohan. He's not a good card. I don't really like him. I tried running him several different times on several different teams. And he just doesn't hit that hard at all. But, uh, you know, we have him. And, uh, yeah, I do have him Dokkan Awaken. So, you know, yeah. But uh, yeah guys, so and then here's the actual banner, so I'm assuming you get one guaranteed SSR here, and then we do have this banner here. Now I will be doing summons, of course I'm going to do summons, that's, that's of course, like why would you ask? And uh, let me just show you the event real quick, and then we're going to wrap up, and then I will be doing the summoning in another video guys, so please stay tuned for the summoning video, which is going to be lit. I have about 100 stones right now. And we have the option of buying stone because they're on sale. And I only really buy stones when they're on sale. I don't go ahead and buy no fucking hundred dollar gift certificate stones like that. So these are the current events we have. I mean, if you, if you haven't done them, then you should. Uh, Future Trunks event. Uh, we have this uh, grade eight event where you can get the free intelligence uh, grade eight Nappa. And then we have this event here where you can get the free Kaba. And then you can do kind of weaken him into Super Saiyan Kaba. I recommend you do that because his super attack is farmable. And he's a pretty good card to run on a mono tech team. Now the new event that just dropped is all the way up at the top, and here it is guys, so, you know, this is a new event, you know, you can go ahead and farm the medals, uh, you can get that free trunks from stage 4, and then the medals are available in 6 and 7, so go ahead and do that guys, I recommend it because these cars are top tier, uh, and you know, I mean, they're, they're easy to get, I mean, if you are free to play, then this is probably a good opportunity for you to get some pretty good units if you don't have you know units like Super Saiyan Blue Vegito or Super Saiyan Rose um, or even the new trunks like it just um, the new trunks that came with Super Saiyan Blue Vegito not the one that just just dropped just now so you know guys I recommend you do the event I'm gonna be doing some summons right now when I get off the camera so please stay tuned for that guys thank you for watching the video hope you take advantage of all the new stuff we have going on in Japanese version and I will be seeing you guys next time bye bye